Angeli, and other lovely viewers as well. Evidently, if I want to shoot a morning vlog, it can't happen in our normal place because sunshine. That's okay, it's practically like exercise that I'm standing over here instead of sitting over there. Mm -hmm. However, besides health tips like stay away from the sun and standing as exercise, I really wanted to talk to you today about something I don't talk about as much on here. Now, I do a lot of shouting about my love for Gryffindor. Gryffindor! And I'm obviously framed here by a lot of Harry Potter paraphernalia, but I had a love of fandom before Harry Potter way back in the day known as Buffy the Vampire Slayer. For the first six years of my first job ever, I refused to wear any name tag that didn't say Buffy. I was dedicated. Um, and, you know, I don't want to be all hipster about this, but I'm old, so I totally watched it when it was actually on TV first airing. What? Uh, so anyways, when this Tumblr questionnaire came through and said pick any movie or fandom that you want to answer questions for, first of all, I was like, gonna make a video, I'm not gonna answer this on Tumblr. But second of all, I was like, you know, instead of doing Harry Potter because they know all about my Harry Potter love, I'm gonna talk about Buffy. I'm getting a little excited. I can tell that I'm getting a little excited. So, the first two questions were favorite female character and favorite male character. Favorite female character, obviously, Buffy. Uh, I'm the same way with Harry Potter. My favorite Harry Potter character is Harry Potter. I like to root for the main character. Does this make me shallow? I don't know. I love Buffy. Favorite male character was a little harder for me to decide. Like, I initially went straight for Angel, and then I thought, you know what? I really, really loved Oz back in the day. Um, his character got a little shady throughout the series, but Joss, you know, okay, we'll have a whole Joss conversation another day. You're not ready. You're not ready. Another fun fact, my senior quote in the yearbook was actually a quote from Oz, which was about graduation, and it was, we're taking a moment. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, we're done. Next questions are favorite season of that show, and also favorite episode. Favorite season, season two, hands down. Oh, I can, I can barely even. I'm not going to say I can't even, but I can barely even. Favorite episode, I would have to either say Becoming Part 1 and 2, which is two episodes, obviously, um, but oh, there were so, maybe I'm just one of these people that likes to cry sometimes at the TV, but it was the first time that a TV show or anything ever really made me actually physically sit there and cry. I was just like, I hate it when they hurt Buffy's feelings. I hate it. And by hurt her feelings, I mean doing something horribly tragic to ruin her life. Plus Sam McLaughlin song. But I say a tie because also one that I really watched and rewatched and rewatched is Restless, the dream episode. Is so good. Um, so many awesome things in there, and it's so surreal, and the way they shot it, and just so many good lines. Plus, it's right before dawn. Dawn. Favorite cast member? I assume they mean like the actual actor or actress, and I'm gonna have to say Allison Hannigan. I love Allison Hannigan. I feel like she just would be the sweetest person. I love to see the pictures of her family when they dress up in those elaborate Halloween costumes. I love that she married Wesley in real life, and uh, she's the reason that I started watching How I Met Your Mother immediately first time that it aired because I was like, it's Willow I'm watching, and she's one of the few characters that I've actually transferred her name over to saying, you know, she's Lily. I really like her in How I Met Your Mother, so I'm going to say she's my favorite cast member probably, although Sarah Michelle Gellar, I love you. I love you. I want to be watching you on something. I hope your newest show works out. Favorite ship. I'm not going to have this argument with you. Buffy and Angel. They are meant to be together. I know it's cute. I know it's fun when Spike is around. And Spike is... I love Spike. But you know what? When it comes down to true love, it is Buffy and Angel. There's a reason that my engagement ring is a clutter ring. Okay, people? Because, first of all, because my husband is super nerdy, cute, and just love him. Um, but second of all, because of Buffy. So... Character I would die defending. I don't know that I would die for any character. It seems dramatic, but you know what? I'm telling you, if I were in the Buffy universe, I would totally pick up my weapons and follow Buffy no matter what. People sometimes really give her a lot of grief in the last couple of seasons about how, like, why should she get to boss you around? Because she's the Slayer. That's why she bosses you around. She has saved the world like a trillion times at this point. Just do what she says. Don't argue with Buffy. Character I just can't sympathize with, Xander. He just gets on my nerves. You know what? Now we have like a whole 
thing during Tumblr where they make sure you know that the whole nice guy thing sometimes is not the right argument. This is, this is Xander. He's like, I'm the nice guy. I deserve to get Buffy just because I, no, you don't. And you do a lot of things to ruin her uh, happiness based on you want her. Like, I'm not feeling it, Xander. <sighs> I told you season two is my favorite and that, mm, but no, I'm not feeling it. A character I grew to love, though, is definitely Spike, and I think everybody grew to love him. Um, I loved him from the first scene where he comes in and, like, crashes into the Sunnydale sign. Um, I was pretty much in my height of my gothness at that point, and I was just like, oh, Spike and Drusilla and everything, and uh, I think there's no one who didn't grow to love Spike. If you don't love Spike, I, I don't know. And lastly, my anti-OTP, and I'm gonna have to say Buffy and Riley. Um, I just never really got into the whole Riley thing. I think a lot of people also feel this way. He definitely has some interesting purposes, but again, there's some episodes in there that's when Joss is just... Like the episode where they just made out the whole time. What is the point of that? I mean, if you just... Oh. Like I said, you're not ready. However, saddest line ever when Riley is talking to Xander and he's talking about how lucky he is to have Buffy. And then he says, but she doesn't love me. Almost got me there, Riley, but yeah, she doesn't. Back back on up. Ooh, okay, I had a feeling this was going to be a long one. Uh, senior year, I gave a speech involving Buffy, and that was the one speech that went over time, imagine. So if you stuck around this long, thank you so much. I just wanted to, you know, showcase my Buffy love a little bit. I get a lot of Harry Potter and, and out there, but sometimes you got to go back to Buffy. Uh, and Jilly and other lovely viewers as well. I will talk to you later. Bye.